We just dropped down the shaft back there and discovered to our dismay that it was completely plugged. But rather than giving up, we decided to hunt around a bit and came over to the stope here. And lo and behold, this stope fortunately drops down to the first drift level. So we are able to make our way into this mine quite happily. There's a quick look at the stope here. And then we are going to be dropping down through this column of pillars, excuse me, through this uh, column of timbers right here. All right, sliding down through the stopes is the way to go in this one. Uh. You see they uh, stoked out a fair amount around me here. And I've been sliding down from up there and you already saw where we're going the drift I already scattered out the drift level is down there so I'm gonna go pick it up down there just slid down from there I have now arrived at the drift level looking this way you can see that it is caved and inaccessible however fortunately the drift level runs this way as well see the track down here actually that's uh, Looks like airline, but there was track here. You can see the remains of the ties. And fortunately, this ties in to the shaft over there. I haven't looked around down here yet. I think that looks like a dead end. There we go. That might be a dead end. I'll check in just a second uh, to be sure, but just want to show you the uh, shaft real quickly, which is up here. There we go, here is the shaft. And looking up it, that's where we were blocked before. That's all caved and plugged up, so we had to work our way around that. But we're in now, which is a good feeling. Uh, I can't tell if that goes anywhere. I'll have to climb over there and Check that out as well, I think. But first I'm gonna go back and check that one we just bypassed. That's now on the left right there. We were just checking out the shaft in there. And now we're gonna go see if this goes anywhere. There is track running back here, so probably not just, <laughs> I was gonna say it's probably not just a face and then come around and what do you get? It's just immediately a face with nothing else. That's funny. Uh, does it go up? Okay. Yeah, it doesn't even have like a little stope in there right here. It stops right there. So I'll go back to the shaft and look at where it looked like something might have been going past the shaft. And if not, we'll start dropping down the shaft. All right, that's the top of the shaft station right there. Swinging around. In front of me, it's just a little backfield drift that ends right there. So, let's take a look at that shaft again. So again, looking up the shaft right there. This is the top of the shaft station. In case I didn't show that much of it before. But I think where it gets exciting is when we look down here, yeah, how about that? Tell me that doesn't look inviting. Can't tell if there's another level right there already. Or keep going down or not. But I'll find out soon enough. All right, I just climbed down from there. My friends are starting to make their way down. I have reached that thing. I wasn't sure if it was another station or not. Or a drift level. And it's a drift level. It looks like a decent sized one too. I just took my head back there. It looks like it goes for a way. Looking down, the shaft continues looks like there's another station right down there but first we're here let's go check out this one all right the shaft is right there see lots of bits and pieces of equipment scattered around here got the airlines here with the rail tub right here and 
extends over this way. And when I got over here, I saw drift running off that way. I saw this drift running off over here. That made me think it was a decent size. Got the old uh, ventilation tubes or pipes right there. Just a little trashy backfilled chamber right here. See some more ventilation pipes right there. So, I'll let my friends catch up to me, but I think I'll go the right hand rule on this one. And uh, I'll see what we find out. So we will start heading down this way as soon as my friends catch up. All right, my friends are caught up. Let's go see what is down this drift. Ah, got the obligatory Budweiser can. To be really authentic, we need to see Coors Light now, but Budweiser's a good start. See, the drift is uh, bending around here. I always find that more interesting when they bend rather than when you get the uh, another Budweiser can right there, of course. I always find these more interesting when they bend around rather than when they uh, just are straight at it. There's a ground fall here. Or maybe not. It might be a stope or something above. I see the ore chute back there. Let me scramble up on this. Okay, just climbed up from there. And it looks like this was an ore pass, given what's overhead here. That ties into some of those stopes we saw. I'm sure. We dropped everything down here and then we'll go down and pick up right there all right there's that ore chute right there coming around this way a little bit anticlimactic in the sense that we're not going any farther here but this system of ladders running up to the level above us is pretty cool this must have been an emergency escape way probably and look at that got regular use. There's a look up into uh, those stopes. It's kind of cool. This could lead to the, one of those two shafts that were uh, up the hill in this general direction. True. That is true as well. One of them is pretty deep. Yeah, that is true. It could tie into that as well. We just went and checked out that section. And so now we have this section to go check out. So let's see what's down here. Pretty clean right here in this section. I like. Got some. Uh, 73. Oh, I missed that one. Carter 73. Let's try to make a date out of this. Can you figure out what used to be there on the right? I can't figure out. It's really faded. I'd be, I'd be guessing. Yeah, I don't know either. Too bad. Glad you saw that cat though. That was cool. Yeah, my cat. <laughs> All right. Wow, that's a really deteriorated ore chute right there. Mold has definitely gone on that one. Huh. And looking up, it's just a little stope. A lot of dirt back there. Crazy looking. Better look up. Oh, there's a ladder going up there too, actually. The ladder right there leading up. This is gonna make a good picture. And then see some stuff come down the ground here. A semi gobbing right there. And then keeps running ahead that way. Interesting little fissure on the top there. That might be a reference how far it is from the shaft station. Not sure. Okay. Wow. We've got options. Oh, I guess we don't actually. That just goes ahead and dead ends right there. Old classifier right there. It's like there's stuff. Uh, no, that dead ends right there too, I think. We'll check to be sure. Just a little stopiness overhead. 
And then, of course, this is still going this way. A little airline right there. See the track bending around. Back that way. Is that one, uh, did you go back there? Yeah, it goes back to a face. It just faces out back there? Yep. Okay. So, that was it for that one. So, let's see where this goes. Huh. Took a big chunk out of the uh, floor of the attic here. That's been falling something decent down. It was kind of cool those rails just going out over the void. Uh, a stope here. Actually, that's a more of a raise. That looks like it might tie into something. Uh, well, I was going to say on the surface, but maybe not the surface, but at least one of the upper levels probably. And the drift appears. To keep going across there. Just came from over there. Made it across that void, and we're continuing this way. I really don't think this is the 400 level. But, who knows? Maybe the miners obviously would know more than I would, but I don't think we've come down that far. And didn't miss a bunch of levels on the way. A little bit of ground fall, rotted wood back here. It's almost like clay back here, the consistency of the, uh, it's not even really rock, I'd say it's more like soil. And there's a face. All right, well, I think that was it for this level. Just make sure and then keep heading down the shaft. We are just looking back there. I am now back at the shaft and the shaft station. As you can see, the shaft running up there. And we've got this stuff running back here, which at first doesn't look like much. I, in fact, I almost passed it by. But if you look, there's a drift back there. So we'll go check it out. Just climbed over that pile of junk right there. And you can see that I'm in the drift proper now, the rail right in front of me. It's a really sharp bend. Hard to imagine the ore cart's going over that smoothly. Let's see where this goes. My friends went ahead of me. I was uh, swapping out a battery. So we'll catch up to them. That's pretty photogenic. I love when they bend and twist around like that. Uh, more bending and twisting. Looks like there's something going off to the right here. Maybe not too far. Huh, I take that back. Alright, so run off that way. That orange color rock. That's interesting. Also have stuff running off this way. And that keeps going too for quite a way. That's fairly cryptic. Well, stick with the right hand rule. I think my friends went this way too. That's ground fall right there. I thought there might be a, a rage or something there, but that's just straight ground fall. That uh, gave us that orange looking rock right there. Let's go see where this one goes. Got the remains of a dynamite box right there. And my friends, another dynamite box. Does it face out? It faces out, but right here, the rock changes to that horrible stuff. Ooh. There's a huge ground fall, and thankful, thankfully it faces out. But look. Right about there, your echo completely disappears. Oh, wow. And it gets pretty humid, too. Yeah, I can, yeah you're right. I can you feel that. You feel the difference and hear it. That's, a, that's dust and stuff on the rock. Makes it hard to see, but that's what the underlying rock looks like right there. And, yeah, my voice just completely deadened. That came across on the camera. I am so glad that face is out right there. Wow. I did not relish the idea of climbing over this. Wow, this is really crumbly stuff. Cool, very glad that faces out. 
we just came from checking out that ugly section there. I'm back in the drift we were originally following here. My friend's going ahead. Barely got some of that rock in here. Still bending and twisting around, which I like. A little bit of ground fall, not too bad. Face? Yep. It is indeed a face. And that's that. So down to the next level we go. There's looking down the shaft. Looks like the next shaft station is right there. So let's go check it out.